can we welcome Derek Gates, congressional candidate, 2022, District 23. Well, can I get an amen? It's going to be well done, my servant. Well done, my son, my daughter. But as sons and daughters, we are supposed to be light carriers. And as light carriers, we are commanded to go into the places that are dark. It doesn't do us any good to have the light if we don't let it shine in those dark places. And I can't think of anywhere else right now in all of the world it's any darker than the United States political system. Come on. Come on. It doesn't do us any good to have the voice of God in our ear if we don't use it in the most vital place right. that we need to today. Right. So some people have really come down hard on those of us that are running that are pastors, which is all three of us here that are running. We're all pastors. Come on. Come on. Because, yeah. because 49% of evangelicals are registered to vote, and that's sad. Only 49. Of that 49%, only 38% of them even vote. Why? Because people don't realize the importance of it. By not voting, by not registering, by not voting, you are aborting babies. By not voting for righteousness, you are co-signing on the murder of children. Don't hate the messenger. So if there is literally 200,000 homeless people right now, 86% on top of that. That is scary, guys. So goes California, so goes the United States. That's the saying. I think everybody... Hallelujah. We have to take our nation back, but the only way we can do it is with God. And I love what the brother's saying. We, well, our campaign, we end, we meet every Thursday night, and we end every Thursday night with a prayer, with a, a time of prayer and intercession. I'm talking people laying out. Uh, uh, our our uh, lady Beth, I don't know where Beth is. She's part of our core. She's like, she like laid all the stuff on Ted Lou out across the floor uh, last night. And we're praying over the plans of the enemy and my opposition, and and we're all going in in tongues and screaming and yelling, holler, spitting, and jumping over the couch and throwing babies in the air. And, I mean, just going in. I can tell you that none of the Democrats had us, but I hate the political spirit, so I really don't care what you think about me. But I had a vision of being sworn into Congress, and instead of being all pompous, swear me in, sir, I released the fire of God, the fire of revival upon this nation. Let me tell you something. Do you think that God is doing this for any other reason but for us, men and women of God, to stand, I'm talking about from the church house to the White House, and releasing the fire of God from the throne room of God upon this nation. God is releasing a holy boldness upon us. Right now, right now, critical race theory is going to kill our nation. We've got to take the school boards back. And you don't think you can do it, you're right. You can't do it, but God can do it. God can do it. He has made you a lion, and lions have no fear. You'll stand in the face of the devil. Thank you, God. Because that's where we're at. For far too long, people have been through the political system. But we are here to take it back. I do something when I go someplace because I just love it. I love to hear the lion in the room. The lion is within you. Jesus lives. You better stand up. You better stand up. You, I think you think I'm joking. I'm telling you, I will look foolish. I will look foolish for God. Two. Are you ready? I mean, I'm talking from the from your gut. Three. <laughs> Come on, thank you so much. Thank you, Derek Gates. Can we give him a hand one more time?
I'm very, very, very honored uh, to ask 